Absolutely. And the outpouring and the support for these people who are expressing that. And, and not only are they just merely releasing a song or something like that. These people are these doing men, some phenomenal um, things. Um, David and and, and Angel, right? An, Angel, An, Angel Huertas. I'm doing the correct. An, sp I took Spanish. Oh, right? you did. Yes. Well, how do you say it in Spanish? Angel Huertas. All oh, right, you say go it, ahead. Say it. No, I'm Angel, not going to mess his name Angel up. Angel Huertas. Huertas. Okay. No, not hurt us. Huh. But anyway, so as I was saying, okay. but these brothers are inspiring, and mm -hmm. that's the see. This is real. This is authentic. This is not generic. This right. is not makeshift. This is right. people. Live We're looking stories. around because the store is actually packed. We're going to take a break. We're going to take a couple of minute break. We're going to be right back. Urban Forum. We appreciate you tuning in. We know you're listening out there on ChillLoverRadio.net. Uh -huh. We'll be right back. Cr 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 crank it up and piss off the neighbors. You got your radio locked on to the hottest station. Crank it up and piss off the neighbors. You got your radio locked on to the hottest station. On Chill Lover Radio. Welcome back to the Urban Forum Show. We are live with Angel's book signing, Rise to Grace, here at Human's Bookstore at 2319 Frederick Douglass Boulevard. We have people that we're interviewing him that personally knows him. So we want to welcome Amando to the set. Come this way. Let's come this way. Come this way. By the way, it's a beautiful bookstore, too. It is a beautiful you know? bookstore. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not like where beautiful. we're usually at, but this uh -huh. is nice. I mean, mm -hmm. I just want to plug that in. But mm -hmm. anyway, welcome to the Urban Forum platform. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. You're welcome, Armando. So tell us, how you know Angel? I know Angel. I grew up with Angel, actually, okay. in um, Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And I'm proud to say we both are living right now. Amen. The circumstances we grew up in mm -hmm. uh, were incredibly harsh. Mm -hmm. As you can, if you read the book, you can see. Yes, yes. It was really hard times back then. But we're here. And luckily, my friend, you know, he, he put that all on paper and mm. wrote a great book. Yeah, he, and he took that energy to to help other people. Yes, right? it definitely is. Mm -hmm. definitely it, it, It'll definitely open eyes for people doing, you know, going that way. Mm -hmm. It'll show you, you know, the worst of it. Right, that right. You don't ever want to get to that point. Wow. So tell us some 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 juicy bits of the book that you know personally about Angel. Well, uh, he was Playboy Angel. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I know now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. now, but yeah. I remember when. Yeah, yeah, I remember when when that moniker was put on him, you know, Playboy Angel. And, um, you know, he was... All the girls wanted Angel. All the girls in the, in the neighborhood wanted The Latin him. lover. You know what I mean? And um, But he always worked hard in everything he did. It didn't matter what, what it was. You know so did I mean? you guys go to high school and so forth? And, you know, or... We were in the street. We, we actually went to, to elementary, same elementary school. Mm -hmm, so that's mm -hmm, how far mm -hmm. back I know him. Mm -hmm. Did so you guys make a lot of money? He made a lot of money. So uh-huh. I want to hear some street stuff. I want to hear some this grimy street stuff. Well, well, not, you know, grimy, yeah, but, you know, I mean, I'm from the streets as well. So, you know, and that's, I think that's one of the things that um, attracted me to Angel because our stories are so similar. Um, where he was the dealer and I was the user, uh, you know, and keeping it real. However, it seems like our our lives stopped at the same thing. When his when he fell in front of a church, I did the same thing. And, and when he first told me that story, because he has been interviewed on the platform before, mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, are you serious? And he was like, yeah. So we took a break. I had to take a break right then and there. And I was like, come on, we need to pray. We need to pray. And we prayed, you know. But um, God leads us in directions to do certain things. But what was some of the life-threatening situations that you experienced with him? I mean, in my neighborhood, selling drugs was like, it, it seemed illegal at the time. It seemed legal at the time. Like, there was a, a like, a not spoken rule that, the cops, if they were coming down the block, you just stopped mm -hmm. what you were doing. Mm -hmm. They weren't going to arrest anybody. There was too many people to arrest. To arrest right. You know what I mean? So they weren't going to arrest nobody. If you were dumb enough to say, I'm going to risk this in front of them, then they would, you know, mess with you. But it was like, if it was illegal, like kids, you would come outside and see the local drug dealers on the corner and say hi to them every morning like they were the crossing guards. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know what that's I mean? True, like true. 7 o'clock in the morning, you're going to school, you see the guy on the corner like, hey, what's going on? And he was there since... Seven o'clock the day before, Four, you know right, what I mean? Right. So they used to run like 24, 48 mm -hmm. hours. It was, it was. They had a little sit out. Like twenty four seven, twenty four seven. It's not the same, though. Like no, not that we're glorifying that, but I mean, I think t back then you think there was a different level of respect than think, it is today. I think so. I think so. I think nowadays they don't respect like elders like you did back then. I didn't care how how you were running the streets back then. If someone older than you 
told you something, you respected it either, you know, either way. You saw your friend's mother coming down the block, you would, you know, you would put the blunt down yeah, or, yeah. you know. I'd be like, even, I'm sorry, Miss Murray. <laughs> even if your mother knew you smoked. Right, right. You know, you don't let, you, you know, you don't, you don't put it out there like that, you right. know. But we, we lived, forget it, we got shot at, um, had to run the block. I was just telling a friend of mine that when we were young growing up, the gangs from the, from the block, they knew when someone was coming, they would grab the kids and throw them in the building. Then five minutes later, you would hear gunshots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and, and when I told them... Now they're that, shooting with the kids out there. Yeah, now they don't care. They just mm -hmm. shoot. They hit innocent people now, you know. But back then, you know, it was it was like that. You know, the, even the gang members were taking care of their block. You know, they they nourished, they nourished the block. Yeah. They took mm -hmm. care of the kids. They Even like I said, they were doing bad things, but they would still want you to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. So the neighborhood where the setting of this story was, like what's going on there today? And what's the demographics of it? Wow. It's Williamsburg, right? Williamsburg. I was just in Williamsburg last, last, no, I was just in Williams, Williamsburg last Sunday. Mm-hmm. Big, remember, Bigger and I went there last Sunday, and I mean, it was a total different thing. And I'm not a, an original New Yorker, so I really don't know. So it was just more like yuppie, hee hee ha ha bars, and like, so. And then Williamsburg now they have cafes with seats. Out yeah, front. yeah, 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 yeah. Seats out front. They have art galleries now. Um, there's no aban any abandoned building is renovated. It's a dope neighborhood you know, though, like the, the way it's set up. But yeah. The thing I don't, you know, the thing that bothers me about is now, now that it's a great neighborhood, I can't afford to live there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I went through the hardships in that neighborhood, like me and Angel. You know, we grew up. You know, if you read the story, you see the things that yeah, you yeah, had yeah. to live through. You know that everyone, you have brothers and sisters living in the same room and overcrowded, and the drugs and all that. Now the neighborhood is good. We can't enjoy the. We can't enjoy yeah, the neighborhood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they want. 1500 for a studio or 2000 for a studio or something like that so imagine me with two kids mm -hmm. and a wife to get a three so, so what happened to the, the, the what, what happened to the the primary people who were around at that time most of them did not survive or yeah that's why i when i first opened up that's that's the first thing i said you know praise the lord that we're still here mm -hmm, this day mm -hmm. even after what we lived through mm -hmm. a lot of the people are either locked you know you you see it on tv when people say and it's it's so true half of them are locked up half of them are dead you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. The, few, the few that made it, you know, they they realized they straightened out their lives. They would know the choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you couldn't keep going that route. Yeah. You would end up like one of the, you know, in the other two categories. Mm -hmm. so, so do you have any artistic aspirations of your own, Armando? Yeah, I do. I, I make music um, mm -hmm. on the Tim Pop Music. Mm -hmm. If you could go to uh, ReverbNation.com. Mm-hmm. Um, slash Tim Pop Music. Hear the music there. Um, mm -hmm. What kind of music is it? It's hip hop music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hip hop. Yeah, music. yeah, definitely. And I have a team. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Could you could? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you do something right now, real quick? Oh no. Oh, we can't. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll definitely leave the information. I would. Yes. I would love to do that. Mm -hmm. here what would you and what would you say to inspire them to not walk that path and if they do decide to walk that path what was something you would say to help them come back well i know taking i would tell them that taking shortcuts never never works out never mm -hmm. works out at the end you know it may seem fine for the moment but taking shortcuts is never going to work and selling drugs and doing that is taking shortcuts you know you, you you can go get a the way that the way the game is now. From mm -hmm. what I've seen, you can get a good job and make as much money. It's selling drugs. As the guy risking his life Absolutely. out there selling drugs. Absolutely. So, you know, mm -hmm. to look look at it that way. You see that one guy who has three hundred dollar pair of sneakers and he has no money in his pocket because that's what he made for the week, mm -hmm. and he spent it on a pair of sneakers. Right. Or right. You can, and the other thing is too. The other thing is too. Like what I tell these younger kids is, is if you don't put anything in the system, when you become an older man, there's nothing, nothing for you, you to get, get back. back. That's true. <laughs> that, that, wow. We Those really words appreciate, to live by. That's true. We really appreciate you being on the forum. We definitely want to get you back, play some of your music. Um, and you, they can find you on Verb Nation. Um, Reverb Nation. Reverb Nation. ReverbNation.com forward slash Tim Pop Music. Oh, great. Thank, Thank you, so you so much for much. hitting the platform. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, congratulations to Angel. Yes, congratulations. Rise of Grace. <laughs> Rise of Grace. Blessed love, Armando. Uh, again, well, I mean, just I got so it. excited knowing that I he knew know. how to do something. <laughs> I'm like, yo, could you can like... Can he play? Can he play? At least a verse. I just wanted to hear a verse. But like, we're going to have him back on the forum. Okay, we'll have him okay. back, and that way but we'll be at our preview. home platform. No. I know. 
we can't do certain things. Um, yeah, under, I'm putting oh, it out you, there. I got you. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. But when we get on our own black platform next yeah, week, yeah, 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 we'll yeah. be able to. Y'all know how we rock it. Y'all, you know, right mm -hmm. now we kind of maintaining ourselves. We got a racket. You know, you all see a white cup in my hand, so you know stop. something's up right now. Uh -huh. But anyway, hey, we're here hey. at Humans Bookstore. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's Paul ADD kicking in, everybody. That's not my ADD kicking. I process what you said. Okay, I know what I'm saying. Listen, we're here at Humans Bookstore at 2319 Frederick Douglass Boulevard. We are witnessing Angel's book signing. The crowd is here. There's a line, if you know anything about uh, Humans Bookstore, literally going out to 125th Street. Um, so if you want to come on out, he's here signing books to 6 p.m. And then there's an after party, I believe, that people. That's a special invitation only. Um, but the crowd is coming in, and mm -hmm. he's signing books, and he also has other media here. So, um, and then he's going to tell us people that we can interview. So, um, his book is name is Rise to Grace. Y'all want to Rise to Grace, that? a genuine street story. Angel, Angel Huertas. Yeah, you know how to say you know it. Really how to well. say it. Because I took Angel. Spanish. I know how to say Angel. That's I far took as Spanish. That's why. That's good. You didn't take it. Just like no. I didn't take typing, that's why I always have to ask you to type stuff for well, me. Well, I didn't take typing. Yeah, that's cool, too. No, I'm sorry. I didn't go to the typical high schools as other kids did. I, I didn't do that. I'm a, this is a phenomenal story. I mean, talk it about a having story. a third, second chance on life. And usually that's what people that only get, yeah, you know, Usually people only get, like, one. One chance. He got, like, two, and it's just. And he died three times. Mm -hmm. He died three times. I really want to ask him about dying three times. Well, I we're going to have remember. a chance you to interview him at the closing book. Before the closing of the show. So we're going to take a few minutes. Take a break. And we'll be right back. You're tuned into the Urban Forum Show. I'm Silky. And I'm Paul Wayne. And we'll be right back. Cr cr crank it up. And piss off the neighbors. You got your radio locked on. To the hottest station. Crank it up. And piss off the neighbors. You got your radio locked on. To the hottest station. Locked. On Chill Lover Radio. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Urban Forum Show. I'm sitting here with Stuart, who's a friend of Angel's. Yes. How are you, Stuart? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm well, thank you. How do you know Angel? Um, I've known Angel, I don't know exactly how many years, but somewhere around 15 years. Wow. Um, we used to work together. Um, and then he branched off and uh, did a fabulous job on his own. And uh, we've um, stayed in touch. Um, rather loosely, but still all the time for the whole time. Wonderful. And again, we're here at Humans Bookstore doing Angel's uh, book signing, A Rise to Grace. This is a phenomenal book, very inspirational. Um, we're asking people to come out to visit us at here at Humans Bookstore on Frederick Douglass Boulevard. So have you had the opportunity to read the book yet? Yes, I have. Okay, what do you think of it? I thought it was fantastic. Um, I'd known some of the stories just from working with Angel over the years, mm -hmm. but to hear everything from kind of start to finish, um, well, not finish, but up until this time, um, it was, it was very inspirational. And, um, I wanted, the reason I have three books here is because I want to give them to my nieces and nephews and uh, also my sons. Wow. And have them read them. And um, what do you think from the story, from the book, what do you think your nieces and nephews will get from it? Well, you know, I mean, they're not going through the same difficulties that Angel did when he grew up, mm -hmm. but um, I hope they understand that, uh, you know, basically, you if you work for something and you really try hard, you know, you can achieve it. Wonderful. And if you look and see what Angel's done with his life from, you know, from where he started as well, which makes it even harder, and uh, didn't, you know, he got caught up in it, but he also got out of it. That's right. And that's, uh, that's very impressive. You know, and, uh, and difficult as well. And one of the key things is people that you must understand is support. And, you know, Stuart, y you got to commend him because he's genuinely supporting his friend. He's not being judgmental. You know, like he said, you know, he got into it and he got out. And right. he's not only just supporting him by himself. He's supporting him by introducing and using Angel's story as an inspiring base to inspire and motivate his own family, which I think is a great thing. I mean, unbelievable. And one of the things I thought of when, after I read it was, you know, the school system. Exactly, you know, exactly. Can this be, you know, somehow integrated into reading for the school system? Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, what do you think that might help if it was integrated into the school system? Thank you. If you think it was integrated into the school system,